Hey guys, Kevin Tryon here, and, uh, well, it's been a while, I checked on my, uh, my YouTube videos, and my Blast Genius review, well, it took one month, it was one month ago, and I'm sorry for that giant gap, you know the Bumblebee movie? Well, I was saving up for one of the $50 items, which was this re-release of the Times Return Soundwave. Uh, you Transformer fans, or you Transform, uh, people who don't, or not a fan of trans blah, 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 blah. eat things, my tongue stops working after I start filming. But anyway, uh, you non-Transformer fans don't know who Soundwave is, but you are, the, the Transformer fans, you can uh, comment down below to tell, or the description of Soundwave, so the non-fans know. Well, anyway, getting back to the review, uh, we have the band boy himself. He's a switch strike. He is. Let me see if I can get him in here. Stamina. A little bit of a yellow ring right there. G. A. R. Garuda. I got Garuda. Blasting, or er, blasting, bursting, Wyvron. He's part of the Beyblade Burst Evolution. Now, these are, her, uh, so his switch strike is, uh, ah, uh, yes. Giant surface and propeller shaped blades, which. His big surface is perfectly er, is close to perfectly circular, so no Beyblade is able to burst him. Uh, he has zero. Uh, let me focus here. He has zero attack, zero burst, four defense. That should be way more because, well, no one can burst him. That's why he's banned. Here we have four weight, seven agility. And 10 stamina. Max stamina. Yep. Max stamina you can get in a bay. Or Beyblade. So, uh, these are his parts. Right here. He's a stamina type. Download. Uh, wait. Hasbro, WBBA. Where's the. Ah, uh, yes. App Store. Download the app. Why not? Just. Do it right now, why not? Anyway, so we move the box out, grab the instructions. Instructions have nothing. Nothing special about the instructions, just plain old instructions. There we go, there's the box, just off there. Now, we get the uh, focus. Here we have Garuda, and my launcher, I took off the sticker because I was peeling off. Anyway, so not about my launcher. It's about Garuda, the band boy himself. Let's get really close to the camera. <laughs> okay, get a, get a good look on his gotcha. Now, I forget. Wait, no, I don't. Um. Yeah. I think there's a backward G. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a backward G. But anyway, so here we have like a little bird eye just looking at you. And we have five birds on his outer ring just staring or just flying in the way he's spinning. Now, uh, yeah. He is a right spinning Beyblade. He is a stamina type, which I kept showing you. Uh, his parts are the flugel driver, which has the wings. The eight disc, my first eight disc with, or no, my first, uh, yeah, first eight disc with, let me focus here. If I can focus. I'm going to just get off screen. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah blah. Uh, so I figured it out. It's the uh, F frame. 
and here we have the disk and the code three two one go on and gone and you know those toys that were uh that were just put the disc on rip it and it just spins and flies into the air and you have to try and catch it that's what i think this is this were the garuda reminds me of those toys I think it was purposely made to be like that, or anything like uh, blah 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 blah. Can't speak right now. But anyway, that's who I think Gerudo is based off of. Now, um, I'm going to show you who I'm going to review next, or just a sneak peek, and then a new Beyblade gone between that time, or in between the time of earning something and all that. So here we go. There you go, and. There you go. So it was in the top left corner. You can rewind the video to see what it was. But so let's focus there. You probably don't want that. But let's pause the video and get to the battling. Uh, now, okay, now, guys, I have t I made my I have altered my stand a little bit, so it's a little tall. But I think you can still work with it. Maybe if I turn it this direction, maybe. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just lower my stand. There we go, guys. I have lowered my stand by one brick because I'm using a Lego stand. Uh, so let me get my chair out of the way. My voice will be going away for a little bit. So now we're here. Here is Garuda in his arena, or in the arena. He takes up a lot of space, but in the camera, it doesn't look like he takes up much space, but he takes a decent amount. Let me just turn the camera then. Uh, let me just grab the two non-reviewed. So we, uh, I'm just going to do a, a close to a test launch. Do you, uh, I've been wondering, guys, do you think I should do a? Uh, do you think I should do a pa uh, part swap with these guys, or should I just keep to my, or just do review battle, review battle? And also guys, do you think I should do all battles in one vi video, or just one Beyblade battle, or just one Beyblade versus one Beyblade for a video, and swap to another Beyblade? But so, Gerudo wants. doesn't want. Uh, Gerudo wants to get out. So, but he can't escape. So let's launch Gerudo. But for this video, uh, I'm go just going to launch him against someone weak. Uh, weak or no, actually no. I'm going to launch him against Voltriac. Uh, Gerudo is now in the center, and Voltriac is coming in. See how big Garuda is compared to the Voltriac? But so, Voltriac did not do it. Voltriac is not close to bursting. And Garuda is not close to bursting. I forgot to show you this, so let me just move my arena out of the way and show you while I have the chance. So, Garuda, if I grab Voltriac, here, you it, you can probably hear it and how hard it or how how it sounds like it's clicking. Now we get to Garuda. Oh, he needs stuff on my desk. Do you guys hear that? You can barely hear Garuda. When he clicks, so he is really easy. Excuse me, he is really easy to burst, even though he's really hard to burst. I don't know how to feel about that. 
So let's get back to the battle. We're doing one more launch with Garuda and Voltrea going against each other. <clears throat> Sorry I'm a little rusty. It's been a month. You can see my last video. It's been a month since, that, uh, since then. And also, I called Garuda the tripping Beyblade because look at how his disc is. He always goes for the driver. And that's how much stamina he has after battling. Still a lot of stamina, but if I put my hand over it, there's a decent amount of airflow. Voltriac is not close to bursting. But then Garuda slightly, uh, like, if this was Takartomi, he would have been one click in. Actually, no, it's not Takartomi, because Takartomi did slopes for their Garuda. So, anyway, let's just get to the outro. So, this is Garuda. Um... If I rated the Beyblade, I'm going to rate the Beyblades apparently. But so if I could, if I rated Garuda, I would say if you go to non-official Beyblade tournaments, he is a good nine, like uh, when you pick him up from the arena, you just pick him up. Uh, after the battle, he can easily burst by just like if he's even. Uh, oh, let me focus. If he's like really wobbly, and you still do this when you pick him up from the battle, uh, blah blah, pick him up from the arena, you can still easily turn and burst in your hand. Sound like I'm about to cry. <clears throat> but um. But if you actually, but if you're doing like official Beyblade tournaments, just don't buy him. It, because he is banned. He is banned. Everyone knows that. Or everyone knows that. Or close to everyone knows that if you read the rules. Why are, not, why are you going to the Beyblade tournaments if you don't know the rules? And, uh, but. Hey, if you want to collect all the Beyblades in the... If you want to collect all the Beyblades, go for them. It's your choice. Or, oh, voice crack. Not voice crack, but voice fade. But anyway, if you want to collect all the Beyblades, go for them. He's a Beyblade. A really cool-looking Beyblade. Now, if I did get... Uh, you, it might... The price might vary from place, but I'm going to just say that I got him at Walmart for like $13. That's the normal price I get them at. Like, uh, oh, I got him in the same, or I got them and him at the same time. He was blah, 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 blah. Can't speak right now. He was 13 and I got preview. I got him for 13. But, uh, yeah, I got all my Beyblades for like $13. And that's the normal price. But also, at my Target, I er, at my local Target, I did find the, uh, I did find the Beyblade, uh, the Beyblade Burst what, what was it? The tournament. Tournament thing. Where it comes with six Beyblades. A awesome looking, um... An awesome looking Beyblade tournament, or arena. And, like, new frames. They're all their stock combo Beyblades. Comes with, like, uh... Voltriac, Satum. So, Voltriac, Satum. Kalzar. Spryzen. Or, yeah, Spryzen Requiem. So, um, I think, 
what what else is there? There's also Luanor. There is Fafnir. And yeah, that's it. There's those five Beyblades. Or six, sorry, six. There's those six Beyblades and Arena. I checked the price of it at Target, hoping that I would able to like save up easier or fast and just get it then, but So, uh, Beyblade. If every Beyblade was ten dollars, and ev and the arena was twenty, do the math in your head. I'll give you three seconds. Eighty dollars, eighty eight zero. That's how much that costs. And it also comes with like, it also comes with four frames. For like the Beyblades, or for the Beyblades that don't have frames, I'm thinking, or if you just want to swap them out. But eighty dollars for a Beyblade arena. They do have really good paint jobs. I'm not gonna lie, the Bay the Beyblades have really cool re uh, recolors. Also, I'm just getting off in a change. It's 16 minutes right now. But anyway, this was the video. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. It's your choice. I am talking really fast, you probably can't hear me right now, so, but, but this is, uh, this is Camo Tryon, and, well, do what you want.